welcome back to the channel and today i'm hopping back in trail makers because this experiment that i did where i was trying to see if we could twist the power couplers it uh there's more to be done and there's a very significant thing that i am really surprised i didn't think to try uh and that is to actually put a brace in between we're gonna reduce it down to two again uh and put a brace in between as if it's like a dna double helix strand because the issue that we're having is what you can see right here where they're phasing through each other. But if there is a brace going all the way down, I don't think they're going to have any other option other than to continue to twist. And then we're going to have to reach a breaking point at some point, right? Like we have to. So uh, we definitely have some modifications to make to make that work. But another I saw in the comments, uh, one of the comments was I should try it vertically just in case gravity is having some kind of effect on it. So here, let me do this side. All right. So that looks good. And oh my God. Wait, why is it so much more sparky? What? This is worse. How is this worse? Anyway, the hypothesis was that gravity would be symmetrical in all in in uh the in all directions on this thing rather than pulling down on one side of them so this does not seem to the gravity seems to actually uh help it when it's on its side for some reason well let's uh let's reduce these down to zero stiffness and see if it makes a difference this way whoa whoa okay it does make a difference it's kind of oh okay whoa whoa all okay, right this is actually pretty cool all right i am i'm excited to try the 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 helix the double helix so i am going to have to pretty much start from scratch again but oh this is interesting this isn't going to be quite as simple as i wanted it to be because in order to create a brace in between them i need them to be in line with each other but the center point of this isn't quite like that if i have them straight in line with each other they're never going to be intersecting with the actual uh center of rotation and that's going to make it look weird okay hold on i need to bring back another creation because i figured out how to get um a center point on the middle of rotation with a piston the piston has to be it looks like 0.15 because yeah as you can see here's our rotation point here and then as this thing spawns in, that piston contracts to pretty much center it on the uh, the center of rotation, which works pretty well. So it looks like 0.15. Let me just make sure I remember all these piston settings. So let's just take a look real quick. Wait, what's what's not attached? Oh, the piston isn't attached. All right, this is not as simple as I thought it was going to be for an experiment. All right, there we go. So now that piston should contract... To be i need i need light back to be relatively centered but now we need and now it's only centered in one direction now we also need the center over in the other direction right, this is confusing me more than it should but i think i got it now there are we centered i think we're more centered than otherwise so i've got to do this on both sides because now this will turn this way does that seem like it's it's not perfect. Let me just experiment with like 0.16. That's definitely not it, I don't think. No, that's definitely not it. And then 0.14. Yeah, that's not it. I don't know. Wait, maybe 0.16 was better. I don't know, 0.16 actually doesn't look too bad either. It's really hard to tell. I think it's gonna be close enough. So now this essentially is our center point right here. So I'm gonna do the same kind of strategy from last time where I start off uh, as small as I can and then we expand the diameter of the helix so in order for this to work this time we got to change our build strategy here so now we're going to have a power coupler and then a T and that is going to be our uh, our system here because this T is then going to connect to the T of the other side so now each one of these needs a pipe and then we copy and paste to the other side and there we go We've got our first double helix, the beginnings of our first double helix uh, experiment. But now I want to make sure that the sides are independent of each other uh, visually. So I think red and yellow was what we did last time with our first dual color uh, experiment. So let's do red and yellow this time. Oh yeah, super easy. And then the middle, do orange. Go in between red and yellow. That kind of makes sense to me. What do we do? We just, do we just do it now? Are we ready? Are we ready for this? I'm gonna go nighttime because it's just so much, it looks so much better at night. Oh, it just, it just does. It just looks so much better at night. All right, now, what do you think is gonna happen? 
Like, really? What do you think is going to happen? Okay, I also still have this mechanism back here so I can contract this if it needs some slack. Because uh, as this thing, if this thing can retain a twist, we're going to need to give it some slack. But let's keep it on full for now. All right, now here we go. We're going to start twisting. Oh, wow. Look at that. We're already getting the double helix. We have yet to do... Oh, no, we've done a half twist. There we go. This is a, this right here is a half twist. This is the best we could do last time. Anytime we got to a full twist, it would phase through and revert back to the original. It can't do that this time. So can we pull off a full twist? We're almost there. Hold on. I think I need to give it some slack. Uh, what is it? Number one. Okay, no, that's not helping. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to keep going. It's shaking so bad. But right here is technically a full twist. You can see the yellow is on the left at one end, then it goes around and comes back to the left at the other end. But this doesn't look healthy at all. This looks really bad. Expanding the diameter, we might be able to get more out of it. I'm not too sure. All right, let's keep going though. Oh! <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, how is it actually possible? That was too fast. I couldn't see it happen. Okay, let's try that again. What is happening? What? This is magic. This is magic. What's also kind of crazy about this is that it doesn't spaghettify. It just like somehow just keeps on keeping on. That's not how the double helix is supposed to work. Well, we got more twist out of it. All right, now let me try. I wanna, I'm gonna get some slack into the system. Oh, we gotta try uh, stiffness, the change of stiffness too. All right, so there's a lot of slack you can see. What? Yeah, that doesn't really seem to help. Okay, let's uh, go zero stiffness, see what kind of difference this makes. So that's the zero stiffness. There's no slack in this. Like, I didn't add any slack. The pistons are at their full extension right now. All right, let's see. All right, there's a full rotation. And then it just, like, magically appears back to its default state. I was thinking this was actually going to be able to hold some tension. It really doesn't seem like it does at all. This is very unexpected. All right, well, let's also try what the comments were saying. Let's try turning it vertically. All right, here's vertical, zero stiffness. Yeah, there's nothing. I don't think anything is going to make this not glitch through. But I do... I kind of have hopes that we'll get a little bit further on a wider helix. So this should be relatively simple. I should just be able to do this and go one, two, and then I just gotta make sure I do it symmetrically because we need to keep the center of rotation in the center. And one, two. All right, now we have increased our width by quite a bit. So will this help? I don't know. I feel like length could also be a factor. Oh no, this is feeling nope. bad. Okay, well that, I, for, I don't know why I thought that this would be better. I thought bigger would be better. Is bigger not better? Bigger's not better. Bigger's worse. I mean, this though, this is just kind of satisfying, isn't it? It's like a different level of satisfying, like a different type of satisfaction than we got from the no cross beams. Like just seeing the twist through all of the horizontal cross beams, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what to do. All right, hold on. Let me go to like full tension and then let's give it some slack. It really doesn't help, does it? Uh, Ooh. this is not what I, I thought we were going to have success with this. I thought we we're going to be able to twist some stuff. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> sticking with the bigger is better theme, uh, which has not been paying off for me so far. I'm going to make it longer. Okay. So we are like three second, three sections longer. Let's see if this is any hope. Oh, this does not look hopeful. How much hope you got? There goes all my hope. You know what? I'm gonna flip the script here. I hope it breaks. I have a lot of hope that this thing breaks. <laughs> Yay, I was right. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Okay, I have another weird idea. Uh, I don't like. I don't expect that this is going to do anything useful. I think it could just be interesting. What I'm gonna do is replace some of the cross parts of the cross beam with suspension. So the cross beam will have the ability to compress if needed. All right, I'm just keeping them on their their normal uh, settings. But now let's see what happens. Whoa! Oh! 
It's working. I didn't think it was going to actually work. Wait, what are we at right now? It's look at this. It's beautiful. This is one and a half rotations. Let me just confirm. Are you ready? So here's a one rotation. Yep. You can see the yellows going from the left side over to the right side, then back to the left side. This is one and a half. Let's go for a full two rotations. It's getting close. Hold on. I think I need to give it some slack. It doesn't really seem to be making a difference. All right, but we are so close right there. <gasps> two full rotations where it's finally happening. This was the dream from the original video from the, the last video concept. This is the dream I want. I wanted it to keep twisting. We have two full rotations. This looks beautiful. Look at this. Look at this right here on the left side. It goes over to the right. I wish it would stop jittering. It goes down, back over, and then over here. Yes. Okay, we haven't broken it yet. I'm gonna keep going. So we're at two full two full rotations. Actually, well, not really. Two, two full twists. You only need a half rotation to do one twist because the other side's also rotating. Um, in the opposite direction. So when each side does a half, it equals a whole. Oh boy. We are ne- Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Well, that's also kind of interesting. This is so cool. Look at that. I made DNA. This right here. This is what Trailmaker DNA looks like. You know what? This, I think, deserves to be vertical. Oh yeah. See, I don't know. Did does this just look better to you? I mean, it's kind of like because of the frame of the video, a video, you know, is 1080 or 1920 by 1080. So it's longer. The video would be longer in the horizontal, so it would fit better. But this, I don't know. This has a, a, a good aesthetic to it. One thing I was considering, you guys probably thought of it too. And I just haven't said anything yet because I've already seen why it's not going to work very well unless I go a lot bigger. Instead of suspension, what if I used power couplers as the cross braces the issue with that is that our cross brace needs a center point which is what we're pivoting around and the power couplers are four blocks long so this cross brace right now is actually five blocks long this is a compressed version of it here let me um yeah so this is five blocks long so if i put power couplers in here it wouldn't make it it wouldn't be even so i would essentially need there to be four and four plus the one in the middle so seven block long so we could do that should we do it there we go now we've got power coupler dna in the middle of this and i don't like the middle anymore the orange kind of looks too much like the yellow and not enough like the red it doesn't feel like a smooth in between it's way more weighted towards the yellow side but let's see what happens now oh that's interesting i feel like we need to go longer now so here's a full rotation that legit that just looks beautiful. I think this, this dimension that the, the, the width that we have in the middle is perfect now. Like this is a great dimension for the DNA structure right here. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so happy with how this looks. It's interesting that it like, it do this doesn't spaghettify. All right, let's try different stiffnesses now. Let's go down to zero stiffness. You can already see how much more floppy it is. All right, here we go. That's not DNA. That's what happens after your DNA looks at a nuclear explosion. This is what happens when you're in the blast radius of an atomic bomb. It's like kind of stuck. I don't even know what's happened. Like there's stuff that's twisted that like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to untwist now. Like I, I've broken it. Even untwisting gets it more twisted. Oh, oh, hold on. Are we getting there? I genuinely can't fix this. My DNA has been twisted. Twisted DNA. That feels like the name of something. I don't know if it's like a band. Or like, I don't know, Twisted DNA sounds like a place to go and socialize. <laughs> It'd be the name of like a gamer lounge or something. I don't know. All right, but this is this is actually genuinely not fixing itself. It cannot go back to just normal. Oh, oh, what? Oh, well, prove me wrong then. <laughs> I think it started feeling self-conscious about how it looked. All right, so obviously uh, lower stiffness just it doesn't work. You definitely want stiff DNA. I am not a. I am not a medical professional. Do not take medical advice from me. Do not go stiffening your DNA now. I don't know how you would even begin to try that, but don't. Your DNA is fine just the way it is. I promise. Actually, I do not promise. I, 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 nothing I say is matters. Ooh, ooh, this is a good angle. 
Ooh. I'm creating a cinematic intro to a medical TV show. Cue the medical drama music. Do you feel immersed? Oh yeah, look at this. Let's add to the drama. Cinematic, what, what, what do they call this shot? Panning shot, sort of the matrix, matrix style shot. Let me zoom out, there we go. Oh, that was the wrong way. Dang it. I wanted to do a nice smooth opening of the of the DNA, but I went the wrong way. We zoom through. And we zoom out. And the DNA slowly opens. CSI. We've got your fingerprints. And your but most importantly, your DNA. Okay, so this is a double helix. What about a quadruple helix? I'm gonna duplicate to the other side. Wait, why isn't it letting me? I'm pressing, am I at like a complexity limit? Oh, my HUD has been off this whole time. Structure is too complex? 700, I have to delete two strands. Can I simplify this any other way? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, I can. All right, now I'm at 672. So can I just do this? <gasps> I did it, oh, 694. All right, this is gonna be cool or not. I don't know what this is gonna be. Let's see what happens though. A quad quad quadra helix. It it breaks it way easier. It's too strong, I think. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just lower the stiffness a little bit. All right, hold on. How much of a rotation are we getting? Here's um flat like this. Are we at a half yet? It's hard to tell. I think that's kind of half. Yeah, this right here is about half. Each end of a side is going from one side to the opposite side. We're definitely not getting a full though. All right, here's low stiffness. Oh, maybe we will. Oh, look at the sagging at the top. Oh, it's so sad. Oh no, it's so sad. Tangled DNA. This is probably closer to what DNA actually ends up looking like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, DNA. I can't even imagine what kind of abominations this would result in. Scrapman DNA ever since the power coupler update came out. Power coupling is in my DNA. All right, this does look cool though. This right here, this does look cool. Quad helix, I feel like we... we I feel like we have more evolution to go through. Double helix is cool and all, but I just, I want to see the, the species that uh, utilizes a quad helix. Slaps roof of quad helix. You know how many genes this bad boy can fit in it? All right, well, I gotta be honest. I think I, I have, I'm satisfied with the goal that I wanted to do with the twisting concept of power couplers. I've got it to create an actual twisting shape that is relatively stable. I just had to brace it like, you know, like, like nature intended. So if you guys have any other amazing ideas, leave those down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.